and a warm welcome to one and all. For those who haven't seen me before, my name is Langers and I am the Scruffy Trainer. And each morning I make up a strength sheet to help me prepare for my training throughout the day. Look at the end of my calendar, that sort of thing. And I prepare it and I share it with the Scruffy Squad and make them a little video. And once a week I do it publicly. Today, just to kind of give you a gauge of what I get up to and maybe inspire your own training into doing that little bit of homework. So where does it all start? Well, for me it starts in the kitchen because I have to have a coffee because we all know Scruffy likes a coffee. It does this morning because I'm knackered. But I've still got a battle on and here we go. So the day today is the 10th of March and the first thing that I ever do on a morning just while getting the old grey matter lubricated is read the economic news. Now, all I'm really interested in is high impact news because lower news doesn't really sway the markets that much, but a high impact can spike a market. And that is a bit of a concern because if I'm in a trade, it could hit my stop. And it can also turn the market if it's substantial. So again, it can get you on the wrong side of the trade. So my theory is, as long as I know what time it is, I can be very wary of what I'm doing at that time. So today, there is only really one high impact news event, which is this one. Inflation rates at around 1.30 this afternoon. So if you're in a US pair, be very careful. Uh, personally, the way I work this out is, I just don't trade through it. I'll be out of the market completely, and then I'll trade the aftermath. I just find it easier. Once I know what my time scales are for the day, I then start drilling down into just general news. It's just me being nosy because uh, I'm pretty much a technical trader but I do need to be mindful of what's going on and I find this site here investing.com excellent because there's lots of news articles and there's just anything you want is on this website um, it does also have an economic calendar if you you so wish but what it also has is a, is a good technicals so if you go here Go to your technical summary you'll find a lot of information on whatever pairs that you're going to trade on and it, it gives you a water bias um, it's okay so it's not particularly great which is why i work it out myself but it does give you a little bit of a foundation if you can't work it out yourself which kind of leads you on to finviz because Finviz is another website that has a strength block on it that is quite good. It's it's pretty watered down, but it's it, it's good because it's easy to read. If it's over here, it's strong. If it's over here, it's weak. So this is telling you that the dollar and the pound are incredibly strong. And then going down over, you've got the yen through to the CAD, which is pretty weak. So it's giving you a bit of a bias all right but when you're looking at strengths don't take it as direction it's only movement because when something gets too strong it can be perceived as too expensive so it'll be sold and likewise if it's very weak it can be perceived as good value and it'll be bought so don't take the extremes as direction okay so once I've been through all of this, I create this. This is a spreadsheet that I use with my own maths. And I work it out over a couple of days. So it's slightly different to what you've seen on Finviz. Because Finviz is a snapshot of the here and now based on the last 24 hours. I work this out over a number of days. Kind of to smooth it out if you like. And what it does is it helps me filter what it is I'm going to look at. So the first part that I'm looking at 
is up here okay so i want to see what the strength is over the last few days and it's got the pound as the strongest which it has been gathering pace the dollar is still staying strong all the way down to the yen which is incredibly weak but once i had a good look through this the part that interests me probably the most is this one here the rate of change change of strength because that's telling me the movers and the shakers in real time and it paints a different story because if i was just going to be using the strength as you would have seen on finviz you would just automatically think it's the pound because it's at the top however the, the rate of change shows that the pound is losing ground and the dollar is gaining ground so it's different to what's up here but also the yen is starting to change which kind of backs up a little bit like what i was saying if it's perceived to be weak people will then start to buy it which will start by nature its movement and that's what i'm looking for it then filters out the markets even further because i'm looking for big gulfs and those big gulfs are, are difference between the highest and the lowest tell me the movement and it filters it all down for me so now i've got it down to three markets that i'm interested in and then i can look at my heat map my heat map will tell me whether i'm going to day trade it or swing trade it simple simple stuff and once i've collated all of this data i can then have a look so in this case sort of interested in us yen pound yen i can then just very easily pop onto my charts i have all of my charts laid out the same way uh, i always look at these eight basket of stocks uh, the one that you can't quite see properly up in this corner is oil. I pre-mark all the levels in so I can immediately identify what I'm going to trade at a glance because this 8 will move every day regardless of what's on that sheet. And I'm ready to rock. And it's nice and simple. So the one that you've just been looking at, you, you've got the cable here which is always bouncing off a level. You have Euro dollar again moving down to this level. So these can be nice contenders for the next couple of hours. But the sheep pulled out this one and this one. And if we look at this, this has been on a monster buy up and it's now caught between that level and that level, but it's in the middle. So I need to wait till it gets close to a level. And then I can look to trade it and analyze it a little bit further. But if I push this out, you can see this has been on a monster drive up. And that's now starting to stall. So could the gravy train have run out on this? And as you saw, the US was high, the yen was low. Could be a shift in balance. How do I trade this? Very simple. I wait till it gets close to a level. And when it gets close to a level, I'll then drill into it further, analyze it. And if it's ready, I will trade it. So what I'll do is I'll just put you the strength sheet back up so you can grab a screenshot and use it as you will. If you're stuck, I'm easy found. All my contact details are in the description, as is details on the Scruffy Squad if you're interested in coming to see what we do. Uh, the websites I've just shown you, there are links for them as well. It's free to use. Uh, the only downside with them is there's a lot of adverts on them. So that's it, guys. Have yourselves a great day. And uh, speak to you soon. But as always, do what you love. You're fun. See you soon.